All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by some Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is it, Shalom, to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing work in truth and in sincerity. I just want to go on this lesson on basically um, counting the cost and, you know, making sure that this is what you really want, you know. Um, let's start off with this scripture. Proverbs 4, 24 and 27, it says, prepare, prepare your work without and make it fit for yourself in the field and afterwards build your house. Okay, and what that means, man, you know, before you build the house, you have to make sure that uh, you have the right tools in order to buy the house, you know, the right uh, supplies, the right things to to, to Make sure that you accomplish this goal of building this house. Uh, so, I mean, um, you you have to make sure that you have the right things to build this house, you know, and finish it. Okay. So what that means is, you know, when you come into this truth, okay, whether whether you're, whether you're already in this truth or whether you know you're new to this truth, you have to understand that. Hey, we're still building here, you know, and, and, you know, we hope that our foundation is, you know, firm for the times that, that are to come, you know, the scripture says knowledge and uh, wisdom should be the stability of our times, you know, so we hope that the things that we know and the, 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 that the Lord will put the spirit on us to, to get through the times that are to come, you know. Now, with that said, the times that are to come, you know, we know what, what's to come, but brothers have to be in that right mindset of getting through these times, you know, because if you're not in the right mindset, you know, you're going to, you're going to uh, fall, you know, you're going to just, you're going to, you're going to probably take the, the RFID chip, you know. You just gonna fail during the hour of temptation if you're not um, really sure that this is what you really want to do. Okay, so this is Romans 14 and 5. One man esteemeth one day above another; another esteems every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his mind. I mean, in his own mind. Okay, and you know, brothers are are still trying to make sure that we do the works in order to get uh, through these times, okay? Now, um, the word uh, persuaded. Strong's G, 4135, play Rafael, play Rafael. It's play Rafael, okay? And it means be fully persuaded, be most surely believed, be fully known, make full proof of. Okay, and it's not just talking about you know making sure that you know you you're sure that this is the truth, and you know before you come into the camp that you know you want to actually put on the garments. That's one thing, you know. But it's also when you when you come into this truth, is you should know that you got to finish this course, man. You got to finish building this house. You know, you got to finish doing uh, completing the work. Okay, this coming into the camp is just one thing, but the thing is that the th the times that are about to come, man, you know, it, they're right around the corner, man. You know, it's gonna it's it's gonna be hard, man. You know, the the the, the things that we go through right now, hey, man, this is this is easy, man. This is this is a a a, a breeze, sort of say, you know. And and we hope that you know during the times that that uh, may come, you know that the Lord uh, protects us, you know, and 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 uh, delivers us from that hour of temptation. But hey, you had a video out here that you know a brother did, and he said that you know consider that death may be may be a um may be one of the things that you ha might have to go through, man. You know, you have certain brothers that might have to to die for this truth. Get locked up, you know. Uh, when you come into this truth, 
Okay, of course you're going to have the situation of, um, you know, your family members and, you know, a lot of people coming at you and, um, and basically, uh, try to, uh, you know, get you out the truth or, or try to throw dirt on your name and say that you're a demon. But we're coming into the times where, hey, the spirits are really, really, um, getting riled up out here, man. You know, people, people hate the truth. Okay, they hate the men of the Lord for teaching this truth. Okay, and of course, you know you got you have certain brothers that are getting um catching hell on certain uh aspects and stuff like that. But hey, that's a part of the, the cup that brothers have to drink. You know, and brothers have to finish drinking that cup. You know, until the very end. Okay, um, this is Luke fourteen and twenty seven. It says, and whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my my disciple and and hey you know that's the life that we used to live you know we we sacrifice our life you know what I'm saying um to come come into this truth you know and and uh be a part of Yahweh by Simeon size you know uh ultimate master plan you know was that was predestinated you know but even even in this truth that hey Yahweh saw you know, the one of the world ignorantly calls Jesus, he set the example, you know, because hey, when he was up on that cross, that was that affliction, you know, that he had to bear, you know, and that was, that was, hey, that was, he, he ain't deserved that, that the, the things that he went through when it came down to, um, to him being on that cross, you know, but when you imagine the pain and, you know, the humiliation that he had to go through, Hey, that's the same thing that we might have to go through too, man. You know? And we're coming up on those times. So, you know, uh, brothers have to continue to have that mindset that, hey, right now, you know, we got to be vigilant and, and, and circumspect. But, hey, something, something can happen today, tomorrow, you know? And, and it just affects us in a whole total different way. Now, we, we know the scriptures, you know, that the Lord isn't going to put more on us that we can bear. And that should be something that you always should have in your mind, you know? So, so with that said, I'm going to continue on. It says, for which of you intending to build a tower, okay, intending to build a house, sits not down first and counts the cost, whether he has sufficient to finish it, okay? And this is another precept to that, you know, prepare to make sure that, you know, that you have enough uh, things for, for your house, you know. And and uh, what we're still doing is we're still building, man. We're still, we're still uh, in a, in a uh, case of, you know, uh, looking for the videos, being watchmen and stuff like that, you know. It's not just about throwing up videos, man, because at the end of the day, when them videos is, is, is uh, down, Okay, yeah, when the internet is off and you ain't able to throw up a video, then what you gonna do? You know? So so you have to count the costs and check and see whether this is something that you really wanna do. You know? Can you can you take uh time off of from being around the internet? Are you are you really um that into uh the, the worldly pleasures of this world? That's one of the reasons why Sabbath day is important, man, because that gets us out of the mindset of being in this world, you know, first off, we already not of this world, you know, but, but certain brothers still have some things that they do that are, you know, pleasurable, and on a, on a Sabbath day, you know, that's the, that's the time where you're really not supposed to be doing anything pleasurable, you know, so, so, with that said, we're in a time of fasting and praying, man, you know, that we can get through uh, these times that are about to come, okay, because, like I said, if you don't have no no uh, internet, you know, um, if you don't have the the gas and electric, uh, the, the the ability to just go to the store and buy food, you know, knowing that hey, the the RFID chip, which we say that it's here, you know, it's not mandatory, but it's here. What what's going to happen when it's mandatory, man? What mindset are you going to be in, you know? What mindset are you going to be in when the internet is down, when there ain't no food, when, hey, the water is fucked up, okay? 
you gotta you gotta really watch where you go at, okay? What mindset are you gonna be in, man? Okay? Now the elect is gonna be in the right mindset, okay? But at the same time, we don't know whether we have the elect until we get up on them chariots, man. You know? Some brothers have, you know, during that time, some brothers are gonna have a, a good uh understanding that hey, once once you're in that time of, of Jacob's trouble, all you gotta do is just get through it. You know? And 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 that's how you know that you on you on course, which we already know that we're on course anyway. But when Jacob's trouble come and you're not out the camp or you're not kicked out or anything like that, all you got to do is just endure until the end, you know, and you'll be saved. That's that's as simple as it is. It ain't nothing uh, more to it, but just to do it. OK, this is first uh, Thessalonians uh, three and four. For verily when we were with you, we told you before that we shall suffer tribulation. Okay, and let's go into this word tribulation. Strong's G twenty three forty six. Thlebo. Thlebo. It says three thlebo. Okay. It says to press is grapes, press hard upon, a compressed way, narrow, straight, and contracted. Metaphor for tr to trouble, afflict, or distress. Okay, and hey, we the Lord is going to get all them impurities out of us, man. You know, so so the times that are about to come, the Lord is going to press down hard on us, man. Okay, if you're a man of the Lord, you gotta you gotta understand that this is what 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 count on the cause comes comes with, man. You know, we right here at the the cash register, man. You know, ready, re the, the, our stuff is already rung up, man. You know. You have to, you, hey, you have, you have that, you have to have that spiritual bank account, man. You know, you have to make sure that you got enough money up in your spiritual bank account in order to get through that, that's these stuff, these things, man. You know, and what is our, what is our spiritual bank account, man? It's your how about some you okay? So, so we at the cash register, okay, and we we need to make sure that we have uh, uh, enough to get through. The times that are about to come. So that means, hey, if you got to continue to study, if you got to continue to pray, and if you got to continue to fast, you know, those are the things that, those are three things that are very, very important in order to get through these times, you know, because, hey, we don't know what's going to happen, man, you know, uh, to us personally. We have an idea we know in part, that's why we prophesy in part, but we don't know what's going to happen to us personally. So we have to make sure that we have the right spirit to get through these times, you know. It says, uh, even as it came to pass, and you know, for this cause, when, when I could no longer forbear, I sent to know your faith, lest by some means the tempter have tempted you, and our labor be in vain, you know. And that's, what, that's what's going to happen, man. The, Satan is going to try to tempt us, man. The so-called white man is going to try to tempt us. You know, and and if you take that chip or if you fall out and just be a nigga, you know what I'm saying, during those times, hey, it, it, all this stuff that, that brother's been doing, you know, all that going out on the, on the highway and hedges, you know, putting on the garments and throwing up videos, all of that stuff was for nothing, man. You know, all of the praying, you know, that you did, um, all the, the reaching out, all the phone calls. Uh, to brothers, all the, the money that you put in for tights, you know, pretty much your whole entire life was bullshit, man. You just bullshit at the Lord, and you ain't going to be able to get, you ain't going to be able to live through that, man. You know, you're going to be walking around in the kingdom with your head, your head down, you know. So, so we have to make sure that brothers are on the right page and in and, and, and the right faith, you know what I'm saying, to be able to get through these times that are about to come, you know. So, so we have to make sure that brothers aren't, uh, you know, all wrapped up in the in the ways of this world. Okay, um, I'm gonna get one more scripture, and uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna end it. This is Luke 22 and 20, 42. It says, um, 
um, saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but but yours uh, be done. You know, and this was Yahweh Shah, who is the author and the finish of our of our faith. You know, saying that uh, hey, the cup that the Lord gave to him, you know, the the Lord didn't want that uh, that cup to be uh, to be. He he didn't want that cup, you know, but he knew that he had to drink that cup, you know, and um, <clears throat> the point is, we don't know what what cup how how what we might have to have, you know what I'm saying, in order to get through these things. But hey, we got to be able to drink that thing all the way down, man, you know. And get through it, okay? So so that's pretty much the point, man. You know, got to count the cost. And you got to make sure that this is something that you really want to do during these times that are about to come, man. You know? So with that, you know, hopefully this was edifying, you know. And you just got to remember that the Lord is going to, uh, not going to put us through more than we what we can handle, you know. But with that, you know, I want to say Shalom.